Hello everybody. Hi. How are you guys today? Hope you guys are doing good. I haven't done a Dollar Tree haul in a minute, guys. In a minute. Okay. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Money Saving Megan. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Happy Friday. Yesterday, I posted Dollar Tree and an amazing Hobby Lobby. Feel free to check it out. I will have it linked in the comments section below. And I have some promo codes of discounts and stuff like that. Some new stuff coming up. I'm excited. Um, and some more repeat stuff of companies that have reached out to me that would love for me to show you what they have and also give you guys discounts as well. So with that being said, today we are talking Dollar Tree. Let's get into it. Okay, so my first bag. Yes, I got I got a bunch of stuff. Um, and I need to use some of it, so I gotta haul it. <laughs> you know how that goes. So I got these for um my honey darling because he's like i want some like just some quick little pillowcases and i was like these are kind of cute i don't know if he's gonna let me put them on his pillows but i brought my own pillow for my back when i'm sitting in his recliner it's just comfortable and i'm gonna distinguish it so i got these good morning ones these are like a repeat pickup Actually, the ones that I bought like last year, I've been washing and reusing and they haven't even fallen apart. So for $1.25, I've gotten way more than I thought I was going to get out of those pillowcases. Let's just say that. Okay. Next item is this metallic brush maker. Um, I need this for work. I am going to, um, I need a key code, color code some stuff, and I'm going to see if this is going to work for me for my project. So I picked that up. I absolutely love this Lysol lavender. Um, I got one for the honey's bathroom, and when his daughter did the chores, um, she used this, and she's like, Megan, this thing is super cool. It makes the bathroom smell good. She was like, can you pick up another one? I was like, yeah, when I go back, I'll grab another one because she went online, and the one that she was going to order, it was funny. It was like 4 or $5 or something, maybe more or something, and <laughs> her dad's like, no, Megan could get that at the Dollar Tree, and we started cracking up because... Yeah, I shop there. So he doesn't really go to stores. He likes to do everything through like Instacart. It's just easier for him being a single dad raising all his kids that he's raised. So um, he's decided going to the store is just an extra process that he just doesn't have time for. And yeah, so that's how he rolls. I go to the stores on the other hand. So I picked it up. Um, and oh my gosh, I got one of these for Noah and Ethan and they don't know they're getting them yet. Oh, well, I guess Ethan does. He's behind me. So go figure. Nosy, right? Um, Ethan, say hi. Hi. Yeah, see? Mm. Okay. So they had Beavis and Butthead socks. You get two pairs. I thought they were so cool. And I got them for the boys because they'll wear it with like pants and put the long socks on. It keeps their legs warm and boys don't care, you know? So I got that for the boys. And then I got this one for me, one for the honey's car. And these are the cleaning goos. They finally, Dollar Tree finally woke up, okay? And was listening to us and was like, okay, those packages they originally had these things in weren't working because you'd open it and then how are you gonna seal it? Then they got a little smarter and they put a little Ziploc thing across the package. And I'm like, okay, this'll work, but then it fell apart. So then they decided to get even smarter 
and they made it with a lid, which this is the best option. And this really picks up the dust in the car. You know, I go like this against like the air vents in the little crevices, stuff like that. It just takes dust off and um, dirt that you can't really reach. And I'm not trying to break a nail. So, you know, that's why I got those. So that is awesome. That's gonna go into my car. And then we needed some more Kingsford garlic and herb all-purpose seasoning. I seem to run out of this a lot. So whenever I find the Kingsford, I pick that up at Dollar Tree because seasonings are very expensive at the grocery store and I am not spending the money. This I picked up for my Noah. It's a liquid shoe polish in the black. I thought maybe this would help him. Um shine his shoes for junior ROTC and yes so this is the liquid shoe polish in the black for Noah and then I got this for Ethan to clean in the it says it helps remove stains and neutralizes odors he can use this in the toilet or in the sink you know how sometimes your sink can get a little bit yellow depending on what you leave in there or wash and we don't have a dishwasher so we do it by hand and that's part of ethan's chore is the kitchen and um he's really good at it his sister has like revenerated our kitchen pretty much this girl has gone through the house and has moved everything almost except my desk so she really doesn't mess with this area because she knows it'll give me an anxiety attack thank you very much daughter but everywhere else it's been moved or touched or different place so i'm going through the process but it's actually really nice because the house feels really good not that I'm like a sloppy pig or something. I mean, I guess I could do better. But between work, YouTube, coming home, then I'm tired. Then I get up at 4.45, leave the house at 5.30, 5.45 at the latest, go to work, work a 10 to 12 hour shift, then do YouTube. It's a lot. It's hard to keep up a house when you're by yourself. But having her here, it's been nice because the house stays really nice and organized. The boys have been on top of their chores and it's just been going really well so i'm excited about that um these are those borax cleaners and i heard a lot of really good things let me know in the comment section do you mix it with anything just with water um do you use it on your clothes what do you guys think tell me in the comment section i'm not a hundred percent familiar it was new and it looked cool so i bought it but give me some more ideas guys because i really need them <laughs> and that is everything from the first bag so so yes i did if you guys are wondering i did do my hair finally and i'm excited i love my girl if you guys don't follow me on tiktok go ahead and check me out there sometimes i post things that i do like my eyebrows or or my hair or like um i had special cookies made for my honey's birthday and they were designed and it and the link to her business is in there and she is located in orange county and she's amazing so like i do things like that on tiktok and instagram um i don't necessarily make a video on youtube for it but i will post stuff like that there as well so um make sure to check me out and all that will be linked in the comments section or in the description box. Most of it, it's all money saving Megan. So you could go there and you'll see my picture. It's I make it super simple for you guys to find me. Now, this is amazing. So I couldn't believe that we found Hey Humans, Banana, and Aloe. Now, I went on, okay, I think couponing for a cause. No, she definitely found this and more. Because, you know, couponing for a cost finds everything. She's really good at that. But she, I want to say in her video, she said Walmart had it for $14. Maybe Target. And Walmart might have been a little cheaper. I'm not sure. But I know for a fact, and I may be able to pop it up on the screen if I don't forget, that Amazon has these for $9.72 a bottle.
$9.72 a bottle. Oh, which reminds me, I do have an Amazon storefront of things that I like and buy on Amazon. And I have that linked in the comment section as well. If you guys ever want to check out my storefront, like things that I like, things that I may have videos on, things that I reviewed, stuff like that. If you guys like Amazon, you guys can always check it out if you're bored and just click away and look at the different things that I like buying, especially my repeat items from Amazon. So you guys can check it out. Let me know what you guys think or how I can improve my storefront. Or maybe you guys have suggestions I can of things I can add there. Okay, so this is the Natural Drive Body Wash Banana Aloe. Hey humans, it is made from recyclable aluminum. So it's hydrating and replenishing with jojoba seed oil and essential oil, dermatologist tested for all skin types, sulfate, phthalate, paraben free, vegan and cruelty free. If you guys are wondering what happened, yes, it's an oven burn. That's what happens. But at least you guys know I'm cooking, okay? It's proof is right there in the bag. All right. So um, this one is the body lotion, which is great that they have the little matchies. So I'm excited. You could tell the color is just a little slightly different. This one's a little bit more limey and this one's a little bit more lighter or matte, you could say, kind of color. So I got four of those. No, I got two of the body lotions and one body wash. I don't know why I did that. Also, one okay. second. So I struggle with like an itchy head and dandruff and stuff like that, you know, and head and shoulders is really not good for you because I, if I'm not mistaken, it has sulfate in it, which makes me itch anyways. So I have to go sulfate free. And that was recommended even by couponing for a cause. I talked to my doctor. He's like, you can't do that. That's why you're itchy all the time. And it actually causes more flakes and all this stuff, right? So my hair is doing really well right now. Um, a little bit maybe in the back. It's dry. Um, but I do like, I'm going to do a keratin mask on me. And I do have the one that I love on my Amazon storefront. Um, and I may do like an Amazon type of haul and show you guys things that I like to get from Amazon and why and pictures and stuff like that. I was thinking about doing a video like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? I thought it would be fun. I mean, maybe not all of you guys will like it, but I would have fun making it. So maybe I'll do something like that in the near future. Um, this PS Clean Beauty, this is a repurchase. It's the volumizing shampoo. I'm out. I use pretty much all of the stock I bought. And it's sulfate free, paraben free, and dye free. Cruelty free, and it's vegan. And this stuff is great. My head doesn't itch. It doesn't get dry. I don't have issues with using this $1.25 stuff. I really don't. And I think it's a really good product. It's a real clean shampoo. And I even took this to my doctor at Kaiser and I was like, what do you think about this for my skin? And he read the ingredients and he's like, this is good. He said, the only thing I would kind of worry about, he said, is the gly glyceryl locurate, whatever that is. And the, um, the, uh, what was the other thing that he said? It was another one. Um, I can't remember which one it was. He said, but he said for the most part, the ingredients is pretty clean. Um, and it should, if, it, if you itch, then obviously stop using it. But I've used it and I think it works well. Because I could go out there and spend all this money at CVS, Rite Aid, Amazon, you know, and buy all this boohoo, oh, brand name, great stuff, right? Right? And then what's going to happen? I spend this money and what? I itch. So if this makes me feel good, why not? You know? So next bag. I actually picked this up for a subscriber, but she already found them and she was nice enough to tell me. So I'm probably going to see if this will fit in a box and 
more than likely I'll probably add it to a future uh, subscriber appreciation gift before Easter. So I'm going to put it on my desk. We'll see. Um, they're super cute. They're $5. I mean, look at them. Aren't they cute? I'm so excited to have like the three and five dollars section at Dollar Tree. This was the first item I bought for five dollars in that section. I can't wait to see what awaits us with that in Orange County. So it's really exciting. Now I am gonna put together Valentine's Day bags for kids, like ideas and stuff. So I did buy some things from Dollar Tree. Some things I already have I'm gonna add in that are from Dollar Tree that I've already hauled that I've put aside. Um, so stay tuned for that. So I did pick up these cute little treat bags and there's 20 in there. I'm not making 20 bags, but I thought these were cute with the little llamas on them. So I'm gonna use these. And then I picked up this for my niece. It's Polly Pocket Spot the Difference. You guys saw it in one of my walkthroughs probably. And this alphabet coloring and activity book for her. And I usually will put together an Easter basket for her too. I need to go up there and see her. I have a big box full of goodies from clearance finds and stuff like that. Like literally the box is huge. She's gonna be so excited just to go crazy and dig in the box and take everything out. What two year old wouldn't, you know? So, I picked up some Dollar Tree lollipop candies in this bag. You get 22. I thought that was great. Um, I picked up some Smarties. And then I got these for my little um, gift bags. And then I got these as well. And then, like I said, I have other stuff that I can add to that. And then, I picked up, I love when Dollar Tree has bread. You know, some people complain about it. I've heard very, very many different, wait, I didn't even say that right. <laughs> very many different opinions. Okay, we'll just go with it. And people say, oh, I don't like the bread. It's this, it's that. We've been eating the bread for years. I haven't had any issues of mildew or grossness. I mean, it's fresh and it never lasts more than two days in my house. Anyways, a loaf between these boys. So, and then now I have my daughter here too. So she's eating sandwiches. This will be gone in two days. It doesn't even have time to go bad in my house. So I picked up another loaf of bread. Oh, and if you guys have Fetch Rewards, don't forget to scan your receipts, guys, for free money. I have my link if you haven't signed up. It'll give you free points and me, so we both win. Um, Oh, my gosh. This is so old school, okay? But I had to get it. I had to, had to. All right. It's the folding brush with mirror for your purse. I had one for literally like five years I got at the Dollar Tree. And it finally had its last brush and it broke. And I was sad because now I had two halves. And I'm like, and I went to all kinds of Dollar Trees for like the last six months and I have not seen these. And I finally hit the golden jackpot with the darn brush today. So I was really, really excited about that. It's probably the lamest item I'm gonna show you to everybody else, but that thing was special in my book. I'm telling you guys. Okay, and then I picked this up because I thought it was kind of cool. I don't know, I mean, if it's not any good, it's a buck 25, whatever. But this is Hor Hormel. And it's the complete ready in 60 seconds, the turkey and the dressing. So I picked up two. I figured maybe if we're starving or broke or something and we need food, hey, it's here. It has a great expiration date of 5-17-2025. So I'm like, yeah, we're going to pick it up. You never know what happens in life you know, and you need food and you just don't have the money for it because I can honestly tell you that's happened to me many times. So 
we we lived off i told you guys many times that we've lived off of 99 cent store food and dollar tree for like a year and a half almost two years that's what i buy and then when i got extra money i'd go to smart and final hit the clearance and buy my meats so we can have chicken uh, i buy as much as i can on clearance based on what i had and that's how we made it because I had to pay rent and everything else by myself. It's hard out there, guys. It's super hard. And I still struggle. I still have my days, you know, but at least now and I, you know, that's why I always tell my kids like you work hard, you play hard. OK, you don't give up. You keep going. Perfect example. I'm getting, okay, like as an example, and don't take it in like a bad bragging kind of way because I don't mean it like this. And I brought it up to my kids and I'm like, okay. So mom started YouTube three years ago, okay? Three years I've been doing this. I'm at six, over 16,000 followers. Woohoo! yay, thank you guys. Love you guys for that. Thank you, thank you. Very happy. And I never thought I'd be here. I'm so stoked I have 16. I'm like, ah, it's like exciting. I'm so grateful for that, right? And now I have collaborators and companies reaching out to me and makeup and this and that. I'm doing all kinds of cool stuff. It took time. This didn't happen overnight. I had to work hard. Even when some of my videos did crappy, even when people gave me 25 thumbs down, or whatever the case may be, I still kept going and worked hard. And that's what I tell them. Even though we struggled at one point, I kept going, kept going. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. And we made it. And we still have our moments. But at least now it's a little more comfortable. You know what I mean? Not, I'm not fully comfortable because you never know what's today may not be there tomorrow. But... I try to teach them to not give up because they don't see me give up on YouTube. Even when I'm like, oh, you know, I have those days. All YouTubers do. They can't say they don't. We do. But I don't let people get to me. Because guess what? I come home and I got my kids. I got my honey at his place. I got my daughter here. I got, that's all I need. That's all I, I don't need anybody else. Well, my sister. Other than that, I don't need anybody else. That's it. That's all I need. I'm happy. Oh, and I got my bestie, of course. But it's like, you know, your bestie, your family, we're good. Um, I'm happy. I like my small circle. I'm very content with it. And I love being with my kids and my new honey and stuff. It's really nice. Like, it's calm and, you know, and I tell them, like, you got to... Um, what's the word I always say? I can't think right now. It's towards the end of my day. <laughs> um, you got to work hard to be able to succeed. succeed. So I want them to see me doing it because they went through those struggles. Let me tell you, there was nights where they wanted McDonald's and I was like, nope, we're opening a can of Campbell's or a can of beans. And that's what we're having with rice because I couldn't afford chicken that day. But they had food, they were eating protein, you know, and I'm not even embarrassed to talk about it because we all go through stuff, you know, and it's a part of the past that I know happened, but today is better because we work hard. So I always show them that, you know, anyways, long story, which I didn't make sure it did I, <laughs> but the last but special themes is look at these crazies oh my gosh yes please yes please and thank you i'm so excited so i got these one is going to go in a subscriber appreciation with this and i thought that was cute and then i'm going to put goodies inside here so that was my idea for my next one. And then tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, today, later today, I am going to post the winner to the Frankie Rose 
um, set and added goodies that I put in that. I have two items from Frankie Rose for you guys. And then I added some more cool stuff in there that you guys don't know about. So it's kind of like a surprise. It's not a huge giveaway, but it's a nice giveaway. And um, I'm going to pick the winner later on today. So stay tuned for that. It was supposed to be yesterday, but I was tired and you know how life is. But I am following through and taking care of that so I could get it to work and have my warehouse guy ship it out for me to you guys because he makes my labels. Yes, he does. I'm a little spoiled. Just a little bit. But, okay. That is everything I have been talking your guys' ear off. But, you know, I like when I come and do these hauls. Sorry, my alarm went off. It's to remind me to do something that I haven't done yet. How does, <laughs> you know, stuff, right? So, um, when I do these hauls, I like to talk to you guys and chit-chat. And sometimes we get off subject a little bit. But I'm still showing you guys Dollar Tree stuff. So, guys, go ahead and check out my other videos I have up. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Happy Friday. Have a cocktail. Or if you don't have cocktails, drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated. And enjoy family and friends. And don't let people tell you where you need to be. Spend your time as you want that makes you happy. Because we're not promised tomorrow. So enjoy today. All right, guys. Love you. See you on the next one. Bye.